Welcome back to the channel everyone. So I've got updates on four of the hottest EV penny stocks right now which are looking really good going into the end of 2021 backed by a strong pipeline of catalysts. And if you watch till the end, I also have a new gem for you which is looking to enter the EV space in a transformative deal set to complete by next month. And so you don't want to miss that. And so if you hold any EV penny stocks in your portfolio, please make sure you slap the like button to spread the reach of this video and turn on the notification bell to get these top stocks instantly so you never miss out on any of these germs. And if you want to maximize your investment opportunities, you should strongly consider joining my private discord where you join a strong 11,000 member investment community making big money on a daily basis. We have some top analysts and traders there making some great calls and as you can see here, some of the incredible gains on some of the calls which are double and triple digit gains which for me is just brilliant. And even if you're new, we can help you there abundantly as well. So please check out the link for the 3-day free trial period from the top pinned comment to see for yourself. Thank you so much. And let's get on with it. First stop is Ozop Energy Solutions, ticker number on the OTC, OZSC, which was very recently called at 3.9 cents in October and it has now been responding really well to the infrastructure bill bouncing very strongly and now sitting at 6.5 cents per share with a market cap of $275 million. Ozop is up 9.3% on the day and over 62% over the last month. But when you look at it from a year-to-date perspective, you realize that whilst it is up by over 550%, it still has plenty of room to run on the back of the latest bill if it has to reach or surpass its previous highs of 38 cents per share. Ozop issued a statement that the passing of the $1 trillion infrastructure bill which supports new renewable projects will benefit their business plans and objectives. And the benefits of this bill passes across their subsidiaries which have a strong focus on energy related verticals, starting with their national distribution of solar components to their subsidiary Ozop Energy Solutions based in Southern California. And Ozop Energy Systems has also been developing the next generation of EV charging solutions called the New Grid. This system is patent pending and will help solve the needs of off-grid charging with increasing demand of EVs across the nation. And additionally, Ozop has strategically aligned with a national EV charging manufacturer, an AI-driven battery software developer and a leader in battery storage for its portfolio of locations across the United States. Ozop also brings its green solutions to the military via its wholly owned subsidiary, Power Conversion Technologies Inc, PCTI, and they announced that PCTI received an order for an additional three battery chargers, totaling $210,000, bringing the total units in production to six. And modifications to this order are anticipated to add an additional $140,000 to the contract. Next stop is Ixtel, ticker number IQST, currently sitting at 53 cents per share, with a market cap of $81 million. Excel is down 8.1% on the day, which appears to be a pullback following their recent bull run as it is up 28% over the last 5 days. And similar to Ozop, from a year-to-date perspective, it is trading close to all-time lows with plenty more upside to go. Excel reported improved profitability on growing revenue for Q3, announcing the following financial and operational achievements. Their continuous expansion of technology products and services has already made Ixtel a worldwide technology market contender with a wide array of cutting-edge products and services to serve the immigrants community including telecommunication services, EV mobility and a fintech ecosystem which includes Internet of Things and blockchain platforms. And they now have offerings for a total addressable market reaching over $100 billion which is just massive. And having graduated on the OTC markets, progressing to achieve OTCQB and OTCQX certifications, they believe that the distance to a Nasdaq listing is not too far reach. They reported revenues of $46.8 million year to date for fiscal year 21 versus $29.4 million for 2020, which was a 59% increase, and gross profits of $1.3 million versus $0.7 million for 2020 which is a 95% increase. And they are quickly making their way towards break-even and into profitability in Q321. And in terms of outlook, 
They are looking to achieve and potentially surpass the forecast for fiscal year 21 and they are on the home stretch to accomplish the forecast of $60.5 billion for this year. And management is confident about reaching this business goal and still working towards surpassing it. And so they are living in a very exciting time for Ixtil and will be updating on the M&A campaigns and Nasdaq uplisting progress. So really exciting times ahead. Next stop is Alternate Systems, ticker number ALYI Ali, listed in the OTC markets, which recently called a gain at 1.1 cents per share in October, and it is now sitting at 1.7 cents per share with a market cap of $34.3 million. Ali is still down 42.8% on the month, but up 70% year to date with plenty of room to run looking at the latest news. Ali's CEO expects to finalize terms this week on their second EV business acquisition. And they announced that their CEO Randall Torno is now in London to finalize terms on their second acquisition, expected to close rapidly. He was in Nairobi and finalized acquisition terms on the first transaction to acquire a majority interest in the Nairobi business designed to accelerate the company's electric vehicle revenue. And the acquisition agreement is expected to be finalized and executed within the next two weeks. Ali is also on track to realize a $2 million revenue target by year end 21, anticipated from the sales of its first electric motorcycles into the African motorcycle market. And the Nairobi acquisition is expected to accelerate and grow the revenue stream in 2021. And finally, to our gem of the day for a watch list, which is Naked Brand Group Limited, ticker number NAKD Naked, currently sitting at 69 cents per share with a market cap of $625 million. It sold recently on the back of some big EV latest news, but slowly giving up on some of their gains being up 3% over the last month and making it a big bargain stock. Naked Brand retails and sells women's and men's intimate apparel and swimwear products primarily in the United States. And the company sells its products online through a website, fredericks.com. Naked and privately held Central Automotive Group, a leading commercial stage EV technology company, announced a definitive stock for stock acquisition agreement. And Central Automotive Group is an early pioneer in artificial intelligence, automotive driving, and a leading designer and manufacturer of electric light and medium duty commercial vehicles, ECVs. And Central has sold and delivered more commercial electric vehicles than any other EV company. It expects significant growth over the next five years with EV sales forecast to reach $2.1 billion by 2023. The company expects to generate 2021 revenues of $25.3 million on sales of 1,500 vehicles and 2022 revenues of $506 million on sales of 21,500 vehicles and 2023 sales of 74,800 vehicles. So Centro has excellent visibility into future revenue through a strong backlog of orders. And so whilst this may sound like ambitious targets with an almost 54 increase in deliveries expected within two years, Centro has the advantage of its positioning in the sector of the EV market where skyrocketing demand of 41% compounded annual growth rate is expected for electric commercial vehicles through to 2028. And what's even more exciting is that not only is this growth higher than the overall EV growth rate pegged at 26.6%, the segment generating the highest demand and growth is electric vans, which is central specialty. The company plans to scale production in January 2022 through new facilities both in the United States and Germany, and the transaction is expected to close by year-end 2021. And upon completion of the transaction, the company is expected to change its name to Central Automotive Group CAG, but expects to retain its Nasdaq listing and ticker symbol NAKD naked. And if you're like me, you may have been scratching your head trying to figure out how a lingerie player and EVs get on where there are no synergies, but it was a case of survival for naked and shareholder value creation due to non-compliance following a lengthy struggle to avoid delisting by the Nasdaq as naked shares traded under a dollar for extended periods. So at this point, it's unclear if Naked will effectively cease to exist or will continue making lingerie, but it will cease operating under its own name, taking Central Public in the process almost as if it were a SPAC. So Naked's acquisition of Central will clearly be extinguishing Naked as a swimwear and lingerie company. 
so clearly one to watch. So some very very interesting and mind blowing prospects ahead for these penny stocks, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I would love to hear from you, so please let me know your thoughts on these top EV penny stocks in the comment section below and what other EV penny stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.